Now let's take a look inside the box. Uh, what we have here is, a, is an older clever scope, but it's, it's similar to what you get with a brand new one. Uh, mainly the, the uh, box color, color would be different, but there's, there's many different small changes inside too. The thing I want you to notice is, uh, well, first thing is, is that the clever scope is powered by an external six volt adapter. This is the input for the, the power right here. And you, the second thing is you can see that there's an overall modular approach to this, to this unit. And that's what gives us the flexibility to configure a scope just for your particular order. Uh, and that's what we do here. So if you, whether you order a, a scope with or without a signal generator or function generator output, or whether you want a 10-bit or 12-bit or 14-bit ADC, or whether you need USB or uh, Ethernet, and even whether you need uh, uh, other options, these things are all installable here. And what we do is we, we build up your clever scope, we test it, and we run it through the various calibrations as required, and we make sure the thing is working properly before we ship it out the door to you. So let's take a look at the, there's three daughter boards in here, and the, the first one, of course, is this ADC. It's two-channel unit, and it's configured either as a 10, 12, or 14-bit ADC. So that's, that's uh, held onto the board right there. Um, the second thing is whether you have um, USB or Ethernet. This particular uh, scope here is a USB-connected one. And if you need to have Ethernet, then we can install this Ethernet module right here in its place. It requires a different back panel, and there's a little extra work involved there, so it's not something that we recommend as a, as a customer upgrade, but it's readily doable here. And the last thing uh, is the uh, function generator module right here, which is either a CS700A or a CS701. This particular one here is a CS701, which is isolated. You can see the isolation transformer there. And this is the unit that comes if you have a frequency response analyzer system uh, that, that you've uh, ordered from us. A um, couple more points. One of the things is, is that the CleverScope can have its calibration checked by you uh, on an annual basis um, using a calibration reference source, which is a, a small land right there, which is marked. So when you want to run that annual calibration, or the, you will have to access that point and follow the instructions that are in the application on the screen. So that's, that's where that's located, just for future reference. Um, and the last thing is, is that on the, on the rear panel of these units, all of them, whether they're, uh, you know, it's, whether it's a, uh, a, four or a uh, CS328 or a 320, they all have a link connector on the back, and that's for that's for use with this link cable, which is an optional accessory. And that plugs, that plugs in here and then into another clever scope, similarly so that the two of them can be synchronized and work with the um, four-channel application. So if, you're, if you can have a four-channel clever scope, and that would, be, that would end up with four analog inputs and 16 digital inputs, and you can, you can run a special application that they have for four channel units and you can synchronize two oscilloscope uh, acquisition units together. So that's, that's about it for, the, for what's in the box.